Welcome to this video where we're going to have a look at some of the new moons that have been discovered around Jupiter. Now before they were discovered, it was actually Saturn that had the most moons, it had 83, while Jupiter only had 80. And I say only, 80 is still a lot of moons for a planet to actually have. But there's recently been another 12 discovered orbiting Jupiter, that takes it to 92. So 92 moons orbiting Jupiter and 83 around Saturn. So now Jupiter is the planet with the most moons in our system. Now there are a variety of different sorts of moons that both of these planets can have. I'm going to quickly give an overview of those and then we're going to have a look at those new 12 moons. Which type of moon are they around Jupiter? So the main moons of Jupiter are the Galilean moons. So you've got Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto. These orbit fairly close to Jupiter. They also orbit in the same direction that the planet rotates. So we would call these prograde moons because they're going the same way that the planet rotates. And you can see a, a nice video there taken by a spacecraft as it gets closer. And you can see Jupiter is rotating and you can then see the moons actually going around the outside as well, which is the Galilean moon. So these moons orbit the same direction that Jupiter rotates prograde. Saturn's moons, quite a lot of them formed from the tidal destruction of a moon that got too close. It was pulled apart. It then created the extensive ring system that we can still see today. Then what actually happens from that point is that moons form at the ring edge and then they drift out. So here's an actual example of one potentially forming, although it hasn't necessarily been located again since then. And they form at the edge of the ring they then drift out, they migrate outwards. And it means that your biggest moons are actually furthest away. And as the ring gets smaller and turns into moons, then there's less mass there to turn into moons. So you, with Saturn, they kind of have this sort of architecture on how their moons are arranged. There's also another type of moon which can exist, and this is a captured moon. So both the Galilean moons those moons around Saturn, a lot of them, they form with the actual planet itself. So as the planet is forming, it has a disk around, the moons form with it. They're prograde, so they will orbit the same way that the planet is rotating. But you can capture a moon, and this is a minor planet that gets too close to one of the other planets, and it's gravitationally captured onto a new orbit. Now because of that, they don't necessarily have to have an orbit that matches the rotation of the planet. It can actually go the opposite way it can be retrograde. So we have these collection of retrograde moons in the red. So your Galilean moons and your prograde moons are the inner ones. These are purple and blue. They're orbiting the same direction as Jupiter, but then you have this group much further out called the retrograde group, and they're orbiting in the opposite direction. And these are captured moons. These did not end up that it'll form with the planet. And Saturn has exactly the same thing as well. So the, the blue one is the prograde group going the same way. The retrograde one is further out and they're going the opposite way, which are captured objects which did not form with that planet. Now, these 12 new moons, they were accidentally discovered when trying to look for Planet Nine. So Planet Nine is, a, is a, an additional planet we think might be at the outer part of our solar system. It could have been thrown out during the formation process. So we think we know where it might be. So people have been looking, or scientists have been looking to try and find it. And it just so happened that when they were doing that, Jupiter was in the same part of the sky, just by pure accident. And they were able to detect these other 12 moons, purely because they were looking for this planet now, which is much further out and much fainter. So they actually captured some of these small distant moons from Jupiter. Now, what type were they? Well, they were actually part of this distant retrograde group. So there's this group much further out, and these 12 new moons are part of that group, and they're going the wrong way around Jupiter. So they're in the retrograde group, which is much further out. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoy, then check out some of the other videos.